Despite the fact that polystico syndrome is so pervasive and so common, uh, we have not had any good new treatment for polystico syndrome in probably 30 to 40 years. So the reality is that we need desperately new research and development into what causes PCOS, how to personalize the treatment of patients with PCOS, uh, and targeted therapies for PCOS. Uh, so this is very needed uh, and uh, it is something that many of us are pursuing. Patients have an important voice to move the agenda forward, to make sure that our governments and our policymakers are focused on it. But also, very importantly, it has to be the healthcare community and the research community who then needs to take that banner and carry that forward, producing new therapies, producing new knowledge, helping patients uh, with PCOS. One of the companies doing research uh, in new therapies for polystic over syndrome is Spruce Biosciences. They're looking at a type of approach that will help with at least the adrenal part of excess male hormones. This is an important component of the disorder, and we look forward to seeing what these results are, uh, but they uh, hopefully will be very exciting. PCOS affects one in 10 to one in seven girls and women in the United States and globally. Yet it's only been recently that we've been able to actually get September to be recognized as PCOS Awareness Month, a month that recognizes how important this disorder is. So for all those affected with PCOS, those with relatives who are affected with PCOS, those clinicians who are actively working and trying to treat and eventually hopefully cure PCOS, this is the month that we need to focus on to get the message out, to get the word out, and to remind patients that there are resources and places where they can go and find answers. <laughs>